an account. Yes, there's an account here. That's a, that's a regular high street bank, opened two days ago in the name of Leah Baisley, his daughter. Christ. He's bargaining. He's blackmailing Perot. This is him sending Perot his account details for him to transfer the money into. It's suicide. Perot's men will kill him. Does the account have an address? 15 Jaden Road, Camberwell. They have these people, they have so much. They're children. They've got personal assistance. Personal assistance! I've dealt with tax returns for people that spend more on their dogs than I will ever earn in a year. The, the truly rich. For them, this this is just it's just a transaction, okay? That's all it is. Basically, when are you gonna learn that they just want to shut you up? Well, I'm gonna do a deal. No, they're not gonna do a deal, they're not gonna let you walk. Listen, I need to do a deal! How the hell? Am I going to protect my family now? What are my kids got to look forward to now, eh? I will see what can be done. Oh, what? Couple of thousand pounds, ten grand? I don't need toy money, I need real money! I need it! this. It's Martova going through security at Moscow Airport this morning. Surely he was here. That's what I thought. So I did some digging. He checked into the Stasevich Hotel in Moscow. Two hours ago. CCTV confirms it's him. Two hours ago. That's very clever for someone who was shot dead by Ros this morning. Yeah, so that got me thinking and I had a look at our other guy, Tarke, the Mossad agent. DNA is a perfect match. But Shimon Take broke three vertebrae skiing in Lebanon last month. He can hardly walk. Chicken cooping. I'm sorry? Take their DNA, find someone similar. Build, hair colour, alter records, and wherever our men bleed, Semyon and Shimon will be blamed. Favourite technique of the CIA when slipping someone into deep cover. You've been lying to me. Martin Lewis, ex-CIA, went off the radar about eight years ago, now part of a team with this man, Richard Prizluski, former Marine, now dead. Lewis has been running around London trying to kill Ryan Baisley. Start talking, because this has got CIA written all over it. Okay, don't start judging, Lucas. You do that judging thing and it really- I don't judge. I'm not lying. He was CIA, him and his boys. We had this sort of conflict resolution program about five years ago. Conflict resolution? Well, that was the thinking. That was the oldest. We don't do that. Look, there are certain types who, due to the stresses of the job, tend to develop difficult traits. Difficult in what sense? Well, they go off the rails, honey, into criminality. And we thought, you know, having invested literally hundreds of thousands in them already, why not 
train him a little more and have him... Indulging in criminality on your behalf? Yeah. You don't have to make it sound so sordid. Lewis was part of a pilot group. Didn't go very well. And you trained him? We trained him, yeah. And for the past five years, we have no single clue where he is or what he's been doing except for turning people into bodies. For money. That's all I know, Lucas, I swear. Harry. Harry, something else has come up. There's a record of a conversation, an MI6 asset in Islamabad, referring to something called Nightingale. Connected to a group that met in Basel. Nightingale. Any idea what that is? No. I've run it through everything. Nothing. But the asset did get as far as saying that there was some kind of CIA involvement. Then the line went dead. Conversation terminated. CIA involvement? You think it could be Sarah? I have no idea. OK. Dig a little deeper, Ruth, without alerting Six. Best not to wake them. Um, actually, there's, there's something else. It's Roz. She hasn't checked in. We don't know where she is. I think she hasn't accepted Joe's death. I think this thing with Basil has brought it back. Oh? You've arranged an exchange with Baisley. Where is it? You're trying to kill him. I don't know what you're talking about. I lost someone recently. A colleague. I had to make a choice to let her die, and if I'm honest, I think it's affected my judgment. My boss thinks I've got this... Um, Psychological displacement thing going on. He thinks I think that if I save Baisley, somehow I'll be saving her. He thinks that I equate Baisley with her. Which is odd. Because they're nothing alike. I think I see her as an innocent. Caught up in events that she really shouldn't have been caught up in. Which is odd, because it makes you wonder how I see myself. Baisley, of course, is not at all innocent. But maybe he is compared to you. <sighs> to us. So strange how the mind works, isn't it? This doesn't scare me, you know. <laughs> We're in England, not in China. <laughs> you tell me where he is, or I will kill you. Baisley's headed for Euston Station. Perot set him up. Martin Lewis is waiting for him. Stairwell F, north side, send CO19. Wait for the team. Yep. I mean that, Roz. I know, Harry. 